Good morning, everybody. Welcome back. Thorn Solomon Scott Selections here for Monday, October 9th. For again, today's play of the day. Quick recap of what happened yesterday. We had a nice winner in the NFL with a two team teaser. Had the Dolphins minus five and a half and the Lions minus two and a half, uh, which was a seven point teaser. And that cashed a minus 135 on Bet Online. Never in doubt, we took two top 10 teams in the league against the arguably worst two teams in the league. And the Dolphins and Lions won by double digits. So, really, never in doubt. Look for the winner here on Monday. And for today's play, that going back to the NFL, going to look at Monday Night Football between the Packers and the Raiders taking place at around 8.15 p.m. Eastern Time. And for this game, I'm going to go with the underdog here. Going to take the Packers money line at plus 114 on FanDuel. Time recording of 4 a.m. Eastern Time. Coverings why we're going to take the Packers money line in this game. First reason, Green Bay does have a scheduling advantage because the last game they played was a Thursday night game against the Lions. They do have some extra prep time, a couple extra days, which might pay off in this spot. But the Raiders did get Jimmy Garoppolo back after missing last game against the Chargers. O'Connell was really not good, and now Jimmy G's back. The problem is Jimmy G, not good either. In fact, he's thrown six interceptions in just three games. He's really just a below-average quarterback, simply put. And I do think if you're asking me right now who I think is better, Jimmy Garoppolo or Jordan Love in 2023, I'd probably say Jordan Love. That's how low I am on Jimmy Garoppolo. Now, Green Bay did get buried in that game against the Lions. Big reason, they could not block anybody because they were very shorthanded. On the offensive line, we're missing several starters. That is not an issue for this matchup because they are getting back Jenkins, Runyon, and Tom. So the Packers offensive line should look a lot better than it did in the last game where they gave up a bunch of sacks. But you're looking at the injury report as well for Green Bay, and they might be getting a couple of key pieces to actually play in this game after being questionable all week. Jerry Alexander has been out for a while, but he has practiced for the last couple of days, limited capacity. Same with Aaron Jones, who played a little bit recently, but he was questionable once again. But both of them did practice for the last couple of days. They do expect both of them to suit up. Meanwhile, the Raiders might be without Devontae Adams. He's questionable with the shoulder injury. He has really not practiced that much during the week. I'm assuming he's going to play, but if he does, he'll be well below 100%. And with the Raiders' lack of offensive weapons anyway, Adams is really the only guy they have. Jacobs has been pretty underwhelming this season, and Jacoby Myers had a good week one. That's basically it. But we know Adams is an absolute monster. We saw it in the night game against the Steelers. If he's anywhere below 100%, the Raiders' offense should struggle, and I do think that the Packers should be able to move the ball against a team that kind of got torched by Kenny Pickett for a decent portion of that night game. But you also want to look at the coaching matchup here, and I think we all know that Green Bay does have the better coach here, as LaFleur is definitely better than McDaniels. McDaniels is awful. I think he's easily a bottom three coach in the league. We saw it with that field goal decision down eight, in that night game against Pittsburgh. LaFleur's solid. I'm not saying he's an amazing coach, but I think he's definitely above average. And I think McDaniels is a bottom three coach who would have been fired if his buyout clause wasn't so large in his current contract. But simply put, I think Green Bay is actually the better team. And I do think that the wrong team is favored here. I don't trust the Raiders. Simply put, I know McDaniels will find a way to blow close games. I think LaFleur is pretty solid. And once again, I am kind of dismissing that last game against the Lions because A, the Lions are a lot better than the Raiders, and B, with the offensive line injuries, they just straight up couldn't block anybody. I think they'll look better offensively, and I think they'll win this game. Might be close, but I think Green Bay makes enough plays to get the job done, and I think they win the turnover battle. So once again, the play of the day here for Monday, October 9th, is going to be on the Packers' money line at plus 114 on FanDuel. Bye, everyone.